morning, Saints. Saints. Today is Monday, April 22nd, 2024. Happy birthday over the weekend to Wyatt Lewis, Carson Purs, Caitlin Conrad, Mira Jimenez, Benjamin and Olivia Thurman, and happy birthday today to Paige McMillan. The saint of the day today is Pope St. Caius. Pope St. Caius was born in the Dalmatian city of Salona to a noble family, possibly related to the Emperor Diocletian. He was Pope from 283 to 296 and may have been the uncle of St. Susanna. He fought against many emerging heresies and gave definitive structure to the lower orders of the episcopate. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, Sloppy Joes and Rosa Potatoes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Senior night for boys volleyball is tonight. They will be wearing pink, pink warm-up uniforms to support pink out. Everyone should be there to support our undefeated boys volleyball team. Saints, tomorrow is the big day. Help us fight breast cancer by supporting Saints Pink Out. Here's how you can participate. Bring $5 to wear a pink out pink shirt tomorrow or wear your 2024 pink out short shirt. Buy raffle tickets at lunch today and tomorrow. Raffles are for Chipotle, Quick Trip, and Starbucks gift cards. Finally, you can bet on the winner of the softball hot dog race. The competitors are Mustard, Cooper Hall, Relish, Andrew Vogue, and Ketchup is 7th grader Lauren Sapp. Bet on the winner for a chance to win $50 in cash. Come support the baseball, softball, and soccer teams tomorrow during their pink out games. The Rosemary Maher Saints Walk for Life is finally happen happening this Sunday, April 28th. Starting at 1 p.m. in the Aquinas Gym, it will be a great time walking with friends and helping women and babies. Sign-up is still open online or through Mrs. Loafman, Mrs. Jones, or Mr. Best. And four corporal service hours are available. Remember, only a week you only have a week left to complete those service hours. Those who have signed up, t-shirt pickup is this Tuesday at lunch on the Common Stage. Walkers, you can wear your 2024 Walk for Life t-shirt this Wednesday, 424. With uniform bottoms or bring $5 and you can wear an old Walk for Life shirt or STA spirit wear and help support the local pregnancy centers also. Remember, Rosemary Maher Saints Walk for Life this Sunday. Now here's Carter Oliver with a special announcement. Good morning, Aquinas. Carter Oliver here with the Class Cup. The Class Cup goes to the winner of class competition. Most years, the seniors have won, but in 2012 and again in 2017, the juniors tied the seniors for Class of the Year. Class of the Year is awarded an extra exam waiver. Over the course of the school year, we have many events where classes gain points towards their quota. Everything from the NHS supply drive, homecoming, canned food drive, attendance at various sporting games, giving the basics, and Spring Olympics. Quotas are set based on history with the understanding that the longer you have been here, the higher the expectation is that your class will do well. If a class achieves their quota, they get the day off of school this Friday. Here's the current standings. The quota and the actual need to be switched. Freshmen have 19 points, their quota is 20. Sophomores have 27 points, their quota is 28. Other way around. Juniors have 33 points, their quota is 35. Seniors have 35 points, their quota is 42. It's hard to be a senior because the senior quota is very high. We're expected to win every event. Spring Olympics is Thursday. It is the last event and the winning team will get eight points. Second place, six points. Third place, four points. And fourth place, two points. It's going to be a great week. Tomorrow, let's talk about Spring Olympics. Thanks, Carter. Every summer, St. Thomas Aquinas High School offers summer classes. DCA, speech, and PE are the three classes that once again will be offered this summer. Taking a summer class allows students for more room for desired electives during the regular school year. Mr. Lee will be hosting a student poetry reading session in the Learning Commons on May 3rd. It will be unavailable for general use by students during that STA period. And here's a video. Oh, hello. Good morning, students. Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mr. Lee with the English Department. We are hosting an open poetry reading and you are invited to participate. It will be held on May 3rd in the Learning Commons during STA period. We're looking for 20 students to read published works by their favorite poets or their own original pieces. Of course, if you would like to just listen, you are invited as well. There will be coffee, juice, and pastries during the gathering. If you do come and are not reading, please stay for the duration and enjoy the words that inspire your classmates. Your English teacher will share information about this event during class today. Sign-ups will be open at the end of the day and it is on a first-come, first-served basis. So don't hesitate to get yourself on the roster. Thank you for your time, and have a blessed day. Thanks, Mr. Lee. And now it's time for our fun fact of the day. Did you know that competitive art used to be an Olympic sport? Wow, I just did not know that. Yeah, it was from 1912 to 1948. That's crazy. 
Now for our summer countdown, we only have 17 school days left until summer and 20 including finals. Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We will be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Ian. And I'm Jordan. Signing, Signing off. off. Remember, Remember, stay classy, stay together, we shine.